Aloha everybody, Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel and our journey through my Hawaiian uh, record collection, one record at a time. And we are on the letter T, getting close to the end of the letter T. And in fact, today we start on the last section of that, which is my South Pacific records uh, outside of Hawaii, my South Pacific records um, that would be filed under the letter T. And I should say, um, that we, there actually are quite a lot, so it's going to be a couple of videos, two, three videos of the letter T in South Pacific, because um, in the same way that there's a lot of groups in the Hawaiian uh, language that start with the letter K, because that's a very common letter in the Hawaiian language, uh, in Tahitian, T is a very common letter, so there's a lot of T records, uh, letter T in South Pacific. So uh, let's just get started with those. Now, and I will preface the, the videos here by saying, obviously Hawaiian records are what I collect and what I know more about. I'm no authority on Tahitian music, or South Pacific music whatsoever. I really don't know much of anything about these groups to really tell you about. So basically I'm just going to show you the records and describe them and you'll hear the music samples as you normally do as we're looking at them. So not a lot of information here, just kind of visually showing you what I have. We start out with a record, um, I believe the group is Ta'ata Tahiti. The album is called uh, The Tahitians or La Tahitians or whatever. Um, it could be the other way around though, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, this is on Tamure Records. No date on it, but it looks very 70s and has kind of a nice nice label. As some of these Tahitian labels, as you'll see, are, are nice. Here's one called Puka Shell, Prince Tafili and the Royal Samoans. Now according to the liner notes here, it says he was declared in 1974, he was crowned King of All Fire Dancers in All Polynesia by the Royal Samoan Organization of Hawaii. There you go. So he fire knife danced and obviously performed around the world in different places. This record was recorded live at the Huki La restaurant in Chicopee, Massachusetts. Not a date on it, but looking at that, I'm going to say the 70s. Here's an album called Tahiti Dream Island. And now this is by a variety of different folkloric groups. Some of these records that you'll be seeing under the, from Tahiti. Uh, this one is uh, recorded, like field recordings, by Gaston Gilbert, who did several, is responsible for several albums. And these are a bunch of different uh, groups. And has a rather attractive label. Also, I like the font on uh, Rio Tahiti Records uh, of the Dissertation label. <laughs> Here's an album, also by different groups, also field recordings by Gaston Gilbert, Tahiti Fett. In 
case you don't know, Tahiti is a territory of France, and they do celebrate Bastille Day, 14th of July, and in on the island of Tahiti, they have big festivals where uh, dance groups from the different regions and the different islands in French Polynesia come to Papeete, and they compete in this huge folkloric dance festival, and it's quite something to see. And some of these recordings, this one, this one are uh, recordings of groups that were performing during that competition. So these are uh, six or five tracks each, a grouping of uh, selections by representatives of different regions uh, in the Society Islands. Uh, here's one from the 70s. In the 70s, uh, there were a lot of several traveling groups that were kind of sponsored by the government of uh, Tahiti and French Polynesia. Large ensembles who traveled putting on very elaborate and beautiful stage shows to promote tourism to um, Tahiti. And they were quite beautiful. And their record albums, because they all made record albums too, uh, which I'm assuming they also sold at the shows, um, are beautiful. Barclay Records of France put out quite a number of them, and they always have beautiful covers and glossy color pictures, and they're beautiful. And this is one, Tahiti Nui, um, is the name of the company. It's also the name of the album. <laughs> Yeah, 1974 and 1978, so apparently two different tours here. And we have a record for 1975, Tahiti Parade. This one is by some different folkloric groups, uh, Bimot, Paulina's Tiare Tahiti, and Joel's Maeva Tahiti Folkloric Group. Um, also, this is uh, festivities, probably Bastille Day, I don't know. But uh, on the back, they're showing, well, on the front also, these beauty queens that were part of this festival. And this Tiurai 1975 and Miss Tahiti 1975. <laughs> an album called simply Tahiti Voyages Around the World, part of a series. Uh, on this one side, one is nostalgic Tahitian songs sung by Bella Beardy, Eileen Cohen, and others. And side two is the rhythm of Juilet of Papa Ete. I uh, took French in junior high school only, so I really can't tell you much there. Here's an American album, American release, RCA Victor, I think the year 1965, Tahiti Yesterday and Today, featuring two groups, Quinn's Combo and the Tahitian Native Group, whoever they are. <laughs> I didn't even like try to get a name on them. Uh, 
one side is Quinn's combo, side two is the Tahitian native group. Tantalizing Tahiti in all its magic and all the magic of its music. Nice picture on that one. Uh, here's something from Viking Records out of New Zealand. Uh, now this is kind of a mistake though, I have to say. It's called the Tahitians, and that's why I have it filed under here, but as I was going to show it to you today, sorry, it's a woo, it's racy, like, you know. Look away if you don't want to see anything. Um, I should have said that earlier. Um, this one, it's the Tahitians, and I didn't realize until I was pulling it out to look at it. I've had it misfiled for a while. I may have already shown this record, I don't know, because it's actually, the name of the album is The Tahitians by the Royal Tahitian Singers and Dancers, so that should have been under the letter R, Royal. <laughs> Uh, I kind of like this record. I need to find a, my, my record, my copy of it looks okay, but it skips kind of a lot. And uh, I would like to, on the cheap, of course, find a, a better copy of it because it is kind of a nice record, actually. Okay, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to stop there, and I hope you enjoy this. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you like, if you like Hawaiian music, tune in to my radio station called Hawaiian Hi-Fi on uh, live365.com. Easy, easy queasy listening Hawaiian uh, music. Also, Hawaiian Leisure Hour on YouTube is the name of my other channel, and that just features uh, whole selections from my Hawaiian record collection. And these records that we're looking at right here today, there'll be music coming up from them shortly. If it's not already up there, I do kind of have some synchronization between this channel, what I'm showing, and what I'm putting up on Hawaiian Leisure Hour, um, although not 100%, but there's some. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.